Known as the factory of the world, this is a city that dares to be first. Hey, hey, must hurt. Whoa. Today, I'm in Dongguan, the city that shocked the world 180 years ago, but it's joined over a million kilograms of opium in Human Beach. This was the first time that anyone had really dared to take a stand against drug smuggling. And in New York, they even have a statue remembering this as the first battle in the war against drugs. But when it comes to being first, perhaps what Dongguan is most famous for is its role as the world's factory. It had become a major center for exports and manufacturing in China. So what is it about Dongguan that has kept it at the forefront of Chinese history? The answer to this question all starts with the story of a handbag. 1978 was a big year where China began the shift from a mostly closed off planned economy to a market economy allowing overseas trade. At first though, most Chinese factories were hesitant to take on international deals. But Taiping Handbag Factory took that chance, becoming a pioneer in China's new age of opening up. Tan Yue was one of the workers at Taiping that was first to experience the beginning of this new era. <laughs> So not too long ago, I actually used another sewing machine, like a modern one. Uh, but this one is actually, I feel like, almost faster or more powerful than that one. And you got to think, this is from like 40 or 50 years ago, and this thing goes that fast. It actually came out not terrible. Made a little bag. Tolo,多大,我的姑弟,富的东西,我的姑弟,富的东西,我的姑弟,富的东西,我的姑弟,富的东西,我的姑弟,富的东西,我的姑弟,富的东西,我的姑弟,富的东西,我的姑弟,富
这个为什么没有火呀？因为我们这个里面是水，然后这个锂电池的电解质是有机的易燃的电解质，所以它就会一直一直烧起来。这个也是锂电池为什么现在发生一些安全事故的原因啊，包括咱们手机啊、新能源汽车啊等等，会有一些这个安全的风险，就是因为这个原因。那我们什么时候可以在生活中更多的见到这些新锂电池，或者我们普通人什么时候能用到？所以现在其实我们有一些电池已经在开始销售了。计划在明年的时候，我们会做家用储能这一块，就一般是在别墅啊，或者一些这个商业楼里面去跟它的这个光伏发电系统去结合来做这个储能的系统。So how did you start working here in Songshan Lake? 我是一五年的时候去了香港读博士，在研究的课题就是新机电池这个方向。然后我们在实验室做的事情就是把我们新机电池的技术。在东莞松山湖这边做一个产业转换，就是希望输出这个新机电池的产品。然后东莞产业化的土壤非常丰厚，我们能够找到几乎所有的一个配套商。然后东莞也有非常优秀的产业人才去组建我们的整个团队。第三块的话是东莞这个地理位置其实是得天独厚的，我去整个大湾区都是非常方便的。Dongguan is taking its future development into its own hands, but it can't be done alone. Located at the center of the Greater Bay Area, surrounded by several mega cities, Dongguan has specifically created the Binhaiwan area to strengthen ties with these neighboring cities and accelerate the development of new high-end industries. Nearly 50 years ago, the people here dared to turn Dongguan into the manufacturing center of the world. And that pioneering spirit lives on today with the desire to create new, innovative technology. Dongguan continues to take on new challenges, and I'll be excited to see what comes next. I'm in Dongguan. Stay tuned with China Matters.